Alright. You know what all this means? Because a lot more of you are going to be growing your own food. That's fantastic. Uh, these are orders from Black Friday. So these are people that just ordered them. There's a lot more of you that have built them yourself. And whether you're growing like this or you're growing like a traditional garden, you know, as long as you're getting out there and you're learning how to grow some of your own food, that's great. I'm going to be busy working on this for the next week. That's why I haven't got any other videos out. I will take you around here for a quick minute. This is so tall you can't see the NFT system that we switched to Cracky. I'll go ahead and give you a quick um, view of that. My wife's been cutting off of the broccoli. You know, you can eat broccoli like kale. I'll do another video on that one too, but I'll bring you back there and show you how these things are recuperated. If you look at our other video, the last one where everything looked like it was all kaput, these are the same plants. I'm bringing you in here for a little uh, peek at how they're doing, and then I'm going to get back to work, and you guys get out there and grow your own food. All right, come on. All right, this is it. All the same plants. So broccoli pet back up. It's growing good. And you can see we've been eating off of it. That's where we cut. If you look at all the plants they've all got. A little bit square. See the little stems where we've been cutting it. So we've been cutting it and eating it and letting it grow and letting it grow. And you don't want to cut all of them and just leave a couple. This is how the plant makes its food. Photosynthesis. So my wife used to get crazy and come out here and cut them all off and leave like a couple of little leaves like that. But you kind of want to leave it some so it can make its own food. So we'll cut these down here and that's why I grow so many of them. Let this keep growing. It's my strawberry plants. It's got a bunch of runners on it. Could actually cut those off and make some more. I cut one off of there and stuck it back there. Got another plant. So we're going to see how if we can overwinter these and have them ready for next spring. But this is crazy weather in Florida, so it's another little bloom, and it's December. But these are all the same guys. Let's see our little collard plant back here. Got another leaf coming up. Had to cut most of that off and ate it. Got a little curly kale one, and of course our mint plant back here. This guy's about a year old. Remember we took them, cut them down, put the roots in here and let it sprout again. I still haven't got a top for that. So I just put that over there so the rainwater won't get in it. Down in there. Or I can peek over here. See that? It's not full to the top, right? It's about halfway right now. So I keep it between half and three quarters. If you don't keep it completely full. And that's it. All right. Now tune in next time and we'll go check out the ones that are growing inside of those little milk cartons. Don't forget, lift and inspire, keep on growing. I love you all.